installing the VSYS point clouds as a plugin for Rhinoceros. Uh, make sure you select and download the correct version. This is for version 7. Click next. It shows you the directory in which it's going to install the software. Um, you can browse and change that. The default is absolutely perfect and probably leave it at that. Click next. You can add .NET and the Visual C++ libraries. Generally, you would never need to do this. If you've never installed the software before, maybe just do it the first time. In subsequent times, don't bother about them. Just keep them unticked. So it's a very fast process. Um, the plugin is now installing. It takes just a few seconds. Now it's installed in .NET. Um, I've already done this on this machine before. And so there it is, Microsoft.net. And it's just brought up a warning to tell us there's a newer version on the machine. Absolutely fine, just click close. We didn't need to have that tick box. And the Visual uh, C++ is instantly done as well. So that's finished, tells us the version number. It's for Rhino 7, so make sure you, I am using Rhino 7. Loading Rhino 7 here. Um, if you get that wrong, this will not work. So first thing to always check is that you installed the correct version. So downloaded the correct one from our website. So go to tools options as you would for all Rhino plugins. Select that. Um, I'll show you here that it's currently not installed. So there's no Visus point clouds listed there. Click install. Go to the directory that you installed into. So that's the default one for Rhino 7. And the Visus one. Select Visus. Let's dot RHP file. Click open. And yep, click OK. So very shortly you'll see um, that appear in the list here. There it is. It's ticked, so it's running. Click OK. Now to get that to come up um, in a window here, so type thesis point clouds into the command line, it should bring up the, uh, the name itself. That's running, so that's in its own window. One word of advice, if you do like to run it in its own window, uh, just expand the window because you can't get the point cloud names and all the functionality in one. We prefer to just drag, so click on Visus tab there and drag it with the rest of the tabs. Just make that slightly bigger and there we go.